Hey guys, how's it going? So we actually got some really cool items this morning here. Um, I do have a new trailer for you from Nintendo of Japan for Fire Emblem Engage. But in addition to that, I also have kind of a relationship chart. So this was posted on Reddit um, and you can see here that thanks to user Satsuma FS, he did translate this chart over for us to look at. So we'll talk about that. But first of all, I wanted to go through the trailer with you guys to see what new features there are. Um, so you can see here, they're actually using the female Alir model this time, and she's pairing up with Marth. So that's really exciting. And you see Marth's ring is actually gold and blue. So what they're showing you is classic Fire Emblem movement. I know many of you guys were afraid this can be like a different movement or maybe like Tokyo Mirage sessions, but this is very classic Fire Emblem. Okay, so the rings, they are important. You do summon the heroes. And they actually kind of attack with you, but they don't do double damage, so to speak. They just kind of buff your damage so far. Lols. So see, when you equip the rings, they actually give you certain buffs based on the rings. And this is showing you kind of the difference in the attack when you have the ring or not the ring. So it looks like you can use the ring to engage, maybe like change forms or get a special skill. He's using like a rapier. Yeah, so this is like a skill base. So if you remember in Three Houses, you kind of have uh, commands. This could be it. So there we go. Look at that. That's a pretty screenshot of the rings. There's Sigrun, genealogy of the Holy War. He's really popular. Um, he is a holy knight. Kind of interesting fact, in English, he's actually voiced by the same... I'm sorry, he's in English, his son, Salif, is voiced by the same person as Ignatz. So I wonder if we're going to get Salif since we're just getting Sigrun. So this is Selica, obviously. She's, they're saying she's a magic user here. And you can see that's uh, the engage form. So when you're engaged, you do kind of gain their outfits as well. I wonder if that's supposed to be Ragnarok. There's Byeth, there's Lin. And now we get to see Corrin for the first time. So canonically, Corrin is female. I think that's been uh, mostly the, the case now with Robin from Awakening being male and Corrin from Fates being female. I really like this, the dragon transformation with like a Mega Man arm. You can see it attacks units in a row, so that's new. Here's everyone for its professor, Byleth. Byleth. Is it a buff? Is he buffing everyone? He is, because he's a teacher. Wow, it's like an AoE dancer skill. Lin! They don't even use her full name anymore. This is Lin. No more Lindis. I do like the engaged form for Lin's outfit. I wonder, I mean, she's a sword user, but they mostly use uh, archery skills there. So you have to charge up your skill, maybe. Yeah, you can't just like free spam it. 
Time to meet the other characters! I'll go over who they are when we look at the relationship chart, but uh, we do have a lot of new characters. And one of the things, guys, uh, I'll go back to it really quick, is it looks like you got to recruit one of the baddies. Oh, so you do have the relationship status as well. So if you attack near a team, you do get that companionship heart. What is those wings? Those are like mechanical wings, you know? That's insane. We got some crazy stuff in this trailer. So I just wanted to go back. Uh, there's two things that stood out to me that are kind of insane. All right, so you see kind of the rings here. Those are the ones they showed off so far. We know in kind of the circle in the initial trailer, there's additional heroes. Um, can't wait to see them. We also know Roy is there from the last trailer. So where's my boy Roy? I wanted to see this uh, bow unit. That's a new unit. But you notice something too, is when that new mo unit's moving, it'll tell you the unit's name, right? And it'll tell you if they're attached to anyone. So it does say this unit name and Corin, or in Japanese, he's called Kamu, she, I guess. But look at, what is this? What is these wings that are like uh, propellers almost? That's crazy. Okay, so I wanted to go back. There's a part in the trailer when they show like your party composition, which was very interesting because I saw some units there that were uh, maybe introduced as a bad guy. But um, when you're selecting the unit, it's not. Okay, there's Violet's introduction again. Let me see. So the, the ring equips. I wonder if it's earlier. So, what is this showing? Oh. Yeah, it's basically if you move to the location, they'll tell you if you're drawing the aggro. I think that's pretty common with Fire Emblem nowadays. You don't have to guess where the aggro is going. I do like like the whole look changes. It's just look, just not just. Uh, you get them as an attachment, but when you're in the engage form, it does change. Unit control. I also want to take a look at this, guys. So you have uh, the the her attacking alone, Alir, and then you have her with Marth, right? So you can see this one actually does more damage at the bottom, and when you have uh, Marth, you do additional attacks. So it's worth equipping the rings. That's a pretty powerful buff. Oh man, I can't find that uh, footage. Oh well. Let's take a look at the relationship chart. So once again, thanks uh, Satsuma FS for this. But we have this relationship chart I, I wanted to go over really quickly. So you're gonna play the main character as Divine Dragon Alir, and then um, you're gonna make really relationships with a couple of other kingdoms, right? So in the last trailer, we were already introduced to Brodia with the new Prince um, Daemon, and 
if you help him defend his castle here, you can see that the arrow going to Damon, um, Damon's kind of waiting for you. So if you help him there, it's presumed that he's going to join you. There's a second prince, uh, Slalu, right now. These things are funny. But uh, the prince came to welcome you as you're going to defend the castle. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Probably my brother is defending the castle. I'm going to join you now. Now we have uh, Farine, which is uh, with the first prince, Alfred, and the second princess, um, Celine here. And they're actually going to help each other. So he's asking Alir for help. Same thing with Damon. You go and help him and, and you guys become allies. Now you saw Alir's mother in the last one. Her name is Lumera. And you saw that she was dying, but Alir doesn't know his or her entire memory. Um, you have Vander here, basically uh, your Jagan character, your older, seasoned cavalier model. He's going to be there. I do really like Vander's design. A lot of them are either hit and miss. So Seth from Sacred Stone, that's a great one. But then like all of the other old knights, not so great. But in this case, Vander looks fantastic. You have your retainers. They are called guardians in this game. Um, part of guarding you as the divine dragon, but they are kind of like your retainer. There, there's a mysterious girl, so it's just like a random recruit, right, that you get. And then you have these two. So I saw in the trailer, and I couldn't find the scene, that they look like they start out as bad people, and you can see they're fighting each other and they're stealing his rings. But in the character select, I saw her portrait, a second princess Hortensia, as a playable character. So I wonder if something happens and you get them to join you later. Um, then you have the new characters from the last trailer, the desert region. Uh, we're guessing this is Slom. And you have the first prince and the second princess. And it's funny because they worship the defined dragon and they're like, oh, it's you? They're... So these people... Um, are the true bad guys here, these four, although the fifth guy looks kind of like a noble person. Um, that's kind of the relationship right now. But like I said, this is on Reddit. So go check it out, guys. Take a look for yourself. But it looks like you're going to be able to gain a lot of allies in this game. And it is centered a lot on royal families. This reminds me a lot of Sacred Stones, where Erica goes to the different kingdoms, or Ephraim, if you play him, and makes friends with the nobility there um, to fight against a greater evil. So I think we have that kind of vibe. The game does look a lot cleaner in the trailers, and I'm hoping that we get more details soon. Um, what's neat is they're not only showing, and I don't know if you guys noticed, that they're not only showing the relationship to you as Alir, but they're also showing the relationship um with each other so brodia and farine are allies and then brodia is fighting against lucia and slom and farine is allies too so take a look at this i think it's cool i think uh once again satsuma did a very good job here of translating this for us thank you and i hope you fully you guys are looking forward to this game as much as i am i'll talk to you on the next one guys see you later bye